At time of taping, it is 58 degrees in Athens, which is pretty good for an early December day. But let's see what it's like in Nassau and the Bahamas right now. 81. Feels like 84. Relative humidity 60% with a very pleasant breeze out of the northeast at 11 miles per hour. There's a little difference there, isn't it? Ohio football is in Athens preparing to play in the 2017 Bahamas Bowl against UAB on December the 22nd. This might be a down the line point, but it is a point of emphasis. There will be a massive climate change for both of these teams going down to play this game in the Bahamas with just a couple of days down there prior to the contest to get acclimated. But how can you jumpstart things as you practice to play there? Well, head coach Frank Solich says you could turn up the heat inside the Walter Fieldhouse. Make sure the doors are closed and um, you've got underground heating there. That that's, uh, I'm not so sure that you can crank it up, but you can certainly get that activated and um, it, it'll get stuffy in there. And um, so we're going to try to make them as stuffy as we can. The Bobcats didn't play in the MAC championship game, but they did have 12 players represented on an all MAC postseason team. That's pretty good. Speaks volumes about where the Cats are now and where they want to go. I think the last two to three recruiting classes have been some of the best that, that we've had since we've been here. Um, I thought this year's team was special in a lot of ways. Great leadership um, on the team as well as athleticism. Um, guys that uh, studied the game, uh, really wanted to take the program to another level. As for the Blazers, nothing but respect from this respected head coach and program for what they've accomplished in Birmingham. And they know it's not going to be an easy ball game. In, in playing together, you could see their team get better and better as the season went on. You know, and, and so uh, obviously that's a tough way to go to you know, s just start off this season uh, and um, not have previous playing experience with that group before and uh, to play as well as they did uh, early on to not let the season slide downhill, but to you know, be, be competitive and, and then finish the way they have um, speaks highly of their, their coaching staff and, and their athletes. All told, five MAC schools are going bowling. Two additional qualified, but there just aren't enough spots for Western Michigan and Buffalo. Ohio and UAB is one of two MAC Conference USA matchups. The other one pits the runner-up in the MAC against the champion of their league, and that's Florida Atlantic. Akron's going to be playing a road game in the Boca Raton Bowl because the Owls will be playing at home in their home stadium. Good luck to Terry Bowden and the Zips against Lane Kiffin and the Owls. The MAC champion meets up with the champion of the Sun Belt in a rematch of last year's Camellia Bowl that the Rockets lost to Appalachian State. Toledo and the Aps meet up again, this time in the Dollar General Bowl in Mobile. And this is the third straight year that the Aps are going bowling in Alabama. There is one Power 5 conference school matched up against the MAC, and that's Duke out of the ACC against Northern Illinois in the Quick Lane Bowl in Detroit. And how about this quarterback matchup? If Josh Allen plays for Wyoming against Shane Morris of Central Michigan in the Idaho Potato Bowl. The Cowboys and the Chippewas in CMU's first visit out to Idaho's capital city. And how about this feel-good story? In addition to UAB qualifying for a bowl in their first year back with their program, New Mexico State ends the nation's longest drought, 57 years from their last bowl appearance to this one. The Aggies won over South Alabama in the finale of their season in Las Cruces, and now they're going on to the Arizona Bowl to take on Utah State. Congratulations to Mario Mocha, athletic director there, someone I have ties to from back in my days in Southern Illinois, and Doug Martin, head coach there, used to be the head coach at Kent State. And an interesting note on that contest, the last game in a bowl that New Mexico State played was against Utah State in the Sun Bowl back in 1960, so good luck to New Mexico State against Utah State. We're all excited about Ohio and UAB in the Bahamas Bowl. We're inside of two weeks now until departure time. The team will leave on the 18th, the game's on the 22nd, and we can't wait to get down there. This is coverage of the Bahamas Bowl from Athens. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.